Hi everyone, it's Shadow again, and today we will be solving problem number 12. Here we have the problem. So by looking at this problem, we know that we're, uh, we're going to be doing uh, a few main things. So the first one is calculating the uh, calculating the triangle numbers, finding the factors of the pr triangle numbers, and then the end result, uh, finding the first triangle number to have over 500 divisors. So let's get started. I'm going to go to Eclipse. And we're going to need this prime factorization method. And we've seen this before. So I just have it ready. So I'm going to start by creating a method that calculates the, uh, the number of uh, factors a number has. Def factors, factors count num of type long. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the commonly known factor counting trick, which is you take, uh, you get, find the prime factorization of the number, t uh, find the powers, add one to all of the powers, and multiply the, uh, the new powers together. So first I'm going to find the prime factorization of the number. Prime factorization of num. And then I'm going to do that dot. And to find the powers, I'm going to group by the identity, which is the same number, basically. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take this group and I'm going to map it to, I'm going to get uh, uh, the tuple dot underscore two, which is the list of all occurrences of um, the element we're looking at. So we're going to get, for example, with 12, prime factors are 2 and 3, so we had one case with 2, one case with 3, and then the list is what for 2 would be 2, 2, and for 3 would just be 1, 3, because that's the occurrences. So I'm going to get the list dot length, and I'm going to add 1, and then from this I'm going to do dot product. So that's our factors count, very simple and uh, smart, straightforward way. And now we need to find the triangle numbers. So what, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do, um, yeah, so I'm going to have def triangle number. So there's a way to calculate the nth triangle number. And what you do is you take num of type long, returning a long or int actually. And what we're going to do is uh, to f uh, find the nth triangle number, it's like factorial, but instead of multiplying, we add. So first we have our base case. So if our num is 0, then we want to just return 0. Otherwise, we want to take our number and add it to the triangle num of the number below it so num minus 1 so that's our triangle number and now what we need to do is we're going to find the triangle numbers and we're going to use an iterator iterator to do that so you're going to do iterator dot from so we've seen from before in both streams and iterators so it starts with the element you give so in this case it's one and then it keeps on going on forever and what we want to do is we want to map it so this is so we're going to have first triangle number second triangle number and we actually want to find the triangle number at that point so this is going to get us the triangle numbers and now we need to just print ln triangle numbers dot find so you want to find uh, a number such that the factors count of the number is greater than 500 and now we want to get it because we know there's an answer so now we just run And we get our answer. 
So that's going to be this video, and I'll see you in my next video in which we'll solve problem number 13. I'll see you there. Bye!